Hey, it's Jared with State of Tech. Today we're gonna to talk about how to regain access to a hacked Instagram account. Now this recently happened to my wife and I went through the process of trying to restore her account using the tools that Instagram provides. Now the problem is, is that it, we didn't fit the criteria essentially. My wife's Instagram account was a special interest account that was based on posting images of objects as opposed to posting images of herself. And the tools that Facebook and Instagram provide to gain access to an account require facial recognition. And so we had some issues there. So I'm making this video because I was unable to find good information anywhere online that would help me regain access to an account that had an issue like this. So I'm gonna be making two videos. The first video is this one, which is exactly what I did to gain access to my wife's account. And the next video is gonna be about how to protect your account against stuff like this from happening and what you need to do to be safe on social media and to have everything set up properly. So make sure to subscribe to the channel right now before you forget and give this video a thumbs up as I appreciate the support. So what happened was my wife's Instagram account got attacked through another account that she knew uh, personally. Now, this is what's happening right now, and we're not used to this because on Instagram, we're used to communicating with people that we know and typically trust through direct messages, comments, stuff like that, and so it's not something that we are expecting to have happen. Now, we typically do see accounts that are spam or bot accounts that are you know, telling us how to get thousands of followers for a dollar and all this stuff. So we're used to things like that, but what we're not used to is actually getting messages from somebody who seems real asking us to do something. So this is what happened for my wife's account. She got a direct message or a DM from somebody asking uh, her, my wife, to follow their new social media platform around the topic of a new clothing line that they're about to launch. Now, my wife, uh, you know, at the time that she received this was very tired out of it, just it was a long day, and she said yes, um, and didn't really look into it too much further. So what then happened is the hacker who had already hacked this other person's account uh, sent her a password reset link as a text message. Now, Instagram's password reset links are not overly noticeable as password reset links. And so uh, the hacker asks you to then copy and paste that link and send it to them. So essentially, this is a social engineering hack. It's not any technical hack at all. It's simply social engineering the same way that you see in a movie where um, the, the spy like tailgates a person through a secure door. It's, it's really no different than that. Um, and so uh, instantly my wife's account was hacked because she gave the hacker, uh, and a lot of people are doing this, gave the hacker a verified password reset link. Because what the hacker did in order to get this was they went to a login screen, they put in the username, they hit forgot password, they chose the option to send a verification link through text message. And so then the person receives that verification link and then they give that verification link to the hacker and the hacker is quickly able to reset the password, remove the phone number and the email address that's associated with that account and set it up to something that they have access to. They then also set up two-factor authentication to make sure that it's even harder to get into that account. So that account essentially is now owned and locked down by this hacker that essentially is just wanting to repeat the process. Now, the process is not just to have access to hundreds of accounts and continue to hack accounts. It is to try and get people to do things like sign up for scams or send money or whatever. One of the first things that started to show up were these Bitcoin related uh, Instagram stories. Now, when my wife told me that her account got hacked, the first thing that I did was try to go through the process of uh, password reset, all the, the basic stuff that we would try and do. And it was unsuccessful because, of course, the hacker had changed that information and we were unable to regain access to her account. 
Now, because my wife's Instagram account is a special interest account and it had photos of vintage and things that she had sourced and created images out of rather than images of herself, we couldn't go through the process of the facial recognition that Instagram has to verify ownership of an account. You see, on an Instagram account, there's uh, only really one way that Instagram can verify that you're real, and that is through facial recognition and verifying that you are the person trying to gain access to this account based on images that were previously posted to the account. It can't be a profile image because a profile image can be uploaded and changed at any time. But a hacker or, or anybody else can't backdate images that were posted previously to your account. So in all of the research that I was trying to do to get my wife's account back, and, and really we were at the point where we just wanted access to the account so that we could close it or get rid of it or even get Instagram to close it or get rid of it because we didn't want to see anybody else getting hacked. So we went through uh, looking through information, trying to find information online. And the main reason that I'm making this video is because I couldn't find anything that could help people that didn't have images of themselves. So if you have an Instagram account that is primarily photos of other people um, or things, you're going to have more of a challenge getting access to your account. Uh, so in using this facial recognition tool, which is what we finally got to work, on my wife's account, you will need to have recent photos of yourself or at least a lot of recent photos of someone. It is an automated AI type of tool that all happens automatically. It's not a person going through your account and, and manually verifying your account. And so if your account is all of, say, your children or whatnot, you'll probably want to use the face recognition tool on your kid so that it can verify your account to the face that it sees most commonly on your account. If you have an account that doesn't have photos of you and it has photos of things, this is where it's going to get a lot trickier. Uh, I joked around that my wife could set up a couple of her vintage photos and we can use the face recognition tool on that and hope for the best, but that obviously was not going to work. This is a facial recognition tool. So, Thankfully, my wife's account was still connected to her Facebook account. When the hacker started posting Instagram stories, there were images that were being used of my family, which included my kids and myself, and that really irritated me. And so I immediately started communicating with the hacker from my personal Instagram account and uh, immediately got blocked because that's what the hacker does is we'll just block your account. Um, but... I noticed from my wife's Facebook account that I was able to go and delete those Instagram stories because if your Facebook and your Instagram are connected, you can delete a story and it will give you the option to delete it from the other platform. And so I chose delete both and deleted those stories and thought, okay, we still have a connection there between these two accounts. So once I realized that the facial recognition tool was unable to verify my wife because it only goes so back, far back in her feed. You see, she had images in her Instagram feed of herself, but they were really old. They were like th at least three months old, and there was probably a good 30 to 40 images that had been posted of things that were not her face more recently. So I was able to go into the Instagram app and see her images and actually delete them. You see, when you cross post your images from Instagram to Facebook, it gives you the option in Facebook to delete the image from Facebook and also from Instagram. Now, if you have a business account and you have a business page on Facebook, it's likely that you're using the business suite app within that Facebook provides. And the business suite app, if you have your Instagram account and your Facebook account connected, you have even more control over your Instagram account uh, from the Facebook business suite app. And so what I was able to do is go in and delete 30 plus images from my wife's account so that the most recent three or four images that were in her Instagram account were images of her face. We then went through the facial recognition tool again that Instagram provides and uh, was able to get it accepted. It took about five hours um, and Instagram accepted it. 
We then got the email with the password reset and the eight digit verification code that they provide so that we can log into the account and gain access. And so we were very thankful for that process and we were very lucky that we still had that connection there. You see, the hackers want the things that they post to the Instagram stories to go to Facebook as well if there is a connection there. And so you, they definitely don't wanna disconnect that. So that's the first thing that I would look for if you have an account that is uh, so far taken advantage of that you cannot get into it using the tools and, and the, the, the way that they're set up, you will need to go and, and try and figure out how do I delete some images or how do I uh, clear some of these things out. And that may be uh, impossible if you don't have the connection between your Instagram and your Facebook account. And so I was very thankful for that connection still being there and the hackers having not disabled that because that was the thing that saved us was the ability to delete images. Um, they did disable the ability to post images. From Facebook, you can post images. If you have a Facebook business account, you can post images from the Facebook business suite app to your Instagram account. And that was disabled, we were unable to do that. My initial first thought was, let's just post some new photos to your Instagram account so that we have some face photos up on the top of the feed. And that didn't work. So previously, when it had failed the facial recognition because there were no recent photos of my wife in the feed, now it worked this time. And that led me to really understand that the facial recognition tool is only going to go back so far. So you need to have pictures of your face in your Instagram feed um, fairly recent. I don't know what the cutoff is, if it's within the last 12 photos or if it's within the last two months or, or whatever it is that the criteria um, that the tool uses. But I do highly recommend that you have photos of yourself in there, or at least something that you can use to verify with that is a face, because that is the tool that uh, Instagram is using. I also highly recommend that you keep your Instagram and your Facebook connected, that you have all of the you know two-factor, all the things set up, and that you just are very vigilant in making sure that you're on top of things when weird conversations start to happen that don't seem normal, that you're getting from people that you normally wouldn't get. Don't give away any information. If somebody wants to send you a link to something, I highly recommend that you test the link first before sending it back. And a lot of times these hacking links are either a password reset or there's something that are trying to get you to log in to uh, your own Instagram account, but really it's a fake page. And so clicking on some of these links might also not be a safe thing to do unless you really understand how to test links in a safe way. I just recommend not clicking on them at all and asking the person uh, for another way of connecting to whatever it is that they're getting you to connect to. I don't even like clicking on links that are in those Linktree accounts or in those other accounts that redirect you out of Instagram. Unless I can see the link and I can verify that the link that I'm seeing is the link that I'm clicking on, I'm just not gonna click on it. And same thing goes for things that I receive in emails and other social media platforms as well. Links are dangerous and they can either give access to an account because unbeknownst to you, it was a password reset link or it could be a downloadable that happens in the background that you don't see and that download installs itself and creates all sorts of problems for you. So you really do need to be careful online. It's not getting any easier, any safer out there. So being vigilant is extremely important. So I hope that this video helped some of you understand uh, how to regain access to your account. As I mentioned, if you have an account with a lot of pictures of your face, you probably didn't even need this video and you figured it out already just by going through the process that Instagram provides. If you didn't have a lot of photos of your face, I hope that you had a method in which you could modify the images that were in your feed so that you are able to, uh, to, to use the tool that Facebook and Instagram provides. If not, really the only things that you can do is continue to reach out and pester Instagram in hopes that you will reach somebody. And then as a last resort, continue to have everybody that you know flag the account as spam, 
block the account, do whatever possible so that maybe Instagram will disable and delete the account. But because of the method in which the hackers are communicating, they're not sending spam links, they're not really doing anything spammy. The only thing that is maybe fishy is that an account changed locations from perhaps the United States to Nigeria, which was uh, essentially what happened with uh, my wife's account. And Instagram should be able to figure that out. But nonetheless, we're working with the tools that were provided. So... I hope that this video helped you. I hope that it helped you better understand how this process happens. And uh, in the next video, I will be talking about how to protect yourself from all of this. And that is the video that I ask you to share with everybody possible because the more people that are aware of what's taking place, the less people that are gonna be susceptible to these hacking attempts and uh, are gonna fall prey to you know what's happening online right now. So thanks so much for checking out this video. If you have any questions, concerns, um, need help with anything, ask down in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer the questions. But that's gonna do it for now. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I hope to see you back in another one soon. Take care.